this is a rule of Allah, a sunnah of Allah. So we will, we should look ourselves. If we are uh, liars, of course we know it when we lie, because we'll, when we lie, we lie deliberately, and uh, uh, we invent uh, false things rather than the truth, and we say them. So we does we do many things to be a liar. So how can we uh, do not know when we lied or not? So we know that when we lie, we notice it, we know. So this is the important clue for us, that if we are liar, then we should know that we are not on truth. Allah does, does not guide us. And the way we are going is not the truth. Allah uh, in Allah la yahdi man huwa and uh, if we approach from the opposite we can say the person if he uh, is a truthful when he say when he see a reality he can say yes you are right this is true even if it is uh, if it's from uh, if it if that reality comes from uh, uh, the opposite or comes from another people, from another rank, he should be able to say, this is true. For example, uh, anyone in the world should be, uh, must be able to say that, that whenever he, when he see or when he uh, notice uh, any ayah of the Quran, or for example, when he see the pure religion, today, of course, it is Islam, he should able to say this is true, worshipping who, whom he cre who created everything, this is the right thing, and believing in the one who created everything, oh, this is true, and there is no alternate for it. He could be able to say uh, the truth, uh, as a, uh, he, he should uh, uh, be able to acknowledge them, profess uh, them, uh, the truth of course. When he say, when he, everyone he is uh, able to do, uh, to be a truthful, then he can uh, expect uh, Allah's guidance. Because uh, Allah says, in Allah la yahdi man huwa kalib. Allah does not guide uh, a liar. So, what does it mean? He guides the truth people. If you are truthful, then you can expect uh, the mercy of Allah, the guidance of Allah to you. In Allah la yahdi man huwa kadib. Why did Allah mention the liars uh, at this point? Because just uh, now uh, we heard a lie. What was that? Remember when they the idolaters of Quraysh said, مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَى We do not worship them except to be closer to Allah. Biggest lie. It is a biggest lie. Because of this matter, Allah said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِي مَنْ هُوَ كَاذِبُونَ Allah does not guide a liar. Because we just now, uh, heard uh, a big lie, uh, and this lie, uh, lie of Quraysh. So, so the main reason, as we mentioned, uh, to be more free from Allah. The main reason was that, uh, uh, to reach the independence, uh, and to create their deities, their religion. That was the uh, main reason and this is is the, just a uh, pronunciation we do not worship them only to be more closer to Allah this is a big lie they know the truth they know the reality they know that these things cannot uh, do anything has no power uh, to bring any beneficial or uh, to take away any harm. They 
already know it. But why did they uh, insist of uh, worshipping them? Because of their uh, uh, their uh, wanting or their uh, uh, freedom. Uh, because they, they, they uh, felt more free themselves with that religion. They changed many things, many haram to halal, many halal to haram. But whenever the messenger came to them and showed them the truth again and warned them, وَجَحَدُوا بِهَا وَاسْتَيْقَنَتْهَا أَنفُسُهُمْ They denied it, but at the same time they noticed its reality. They were knowing that this is the truth. وَجَحَدُوا بِهَا وَاسْتَيْقَنَتْهَا أَنفُسُهُمْ ظُلْمًا وَعْلُوًا This was an unjust from them and uh, uh, Allah did not guide them because they are not, um, they are not truthful. They are lying uh, and they uh, they do not acknowledge the truth. In Allah la yahdi man huwa So, uh, 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 as a result, we can say that this is an important rule about Allah. He, uh, Allah, does not guide a liar. So, whenever we lie, even in small thing, we should fear that fear. Uh, we should be afraid that when we lie, Allah will take away for, uh, from us our guidance. And we will, not, uh, we will not be able to recognize the truth as we were recognizing them yesterday. Whenever we lie uh, and whenever we insist on lying, Allah will take out our guidance and uh, we will be remained in dalala. Uh, we will be remained. Uh, uh, we will be remained. Uh, we will be. We will be go astray. So Allah, uh, we will not be able to. Uh, even more after, after a while, we will lose it completely, and we will not be able to uh, feel our uh, hearts. So Allah says. يا أيها الذين آمنوا استجيبوا لله وللرسول إذا دعاكم لما يحيكم. Whenever Allah and His prophets invites you to the truth, whenever you not notice the truth, uh, say okay. Whenever you see any reality, any truth, say this is reality, this is true, truth, and follow it. If you do not follow, if you say uh, you do not, you do not acknowledge, uh, you do not profess uh, its truthness, then you are bringing yourselves in a big dangerous. Allah may cut your feeling, Allah may cut uh, the connection between you and your heart. And if Allah cut your connection between you and your heart, you will not be able to feel your heart anymore. You will not be able to sense the reality, the truth anymore. It means that you have lost your chance, as if you died at that moment. So to be a liar is very dangerous for uh, a humankind because Allah does not guide him. And is there anything more virtue, more worthy, worthy? The, uh, then more valuable than guidance. If you lose the guidance, true to, uh, to be a liar, then uh, you are in a big dangerous, you are in a big trouble. Inna Allah al yahkumu, inna Allah la yahdi man huwa kadibun, kafar. And Allah giving us another uh, criteria. Kafar. What does it mean, kafar? Uh, kafara means covering some something, putting something underneath, or we can uh, say burying him, burying it. So when you bury something uh, uh, in the ground, you make it as it uh, not exist, because you want to. Uh, 
uh, save yourself from that thing and so you are burning it. This is kufr. But uh, we should realize that you cannot bury a thing which you did not recognize it. You did not uh, notice it. You noticed it, you find it, and you realize it, and uh, right now you want to uh, save yourselves from it. You want to be free from it. And the only solution for you to bury it. This is kufr. So the kafir, when we say kafir, we, uh, when Quran say kafir, uh, we understand the person who noticed the reality and trying to bury it. And in this ayah, Allah say, uh, Allah, uh, say about the person who is kafar, who is doing the kufr day and night. Every time he is trying to uh, be a kafir, he is trying to bury every truth uh, he, f he find. Whenever he find any truth and he did not and he did not and he uh, do not like it, he try to bury it. This man is kafar. He uh, bury every truth, or he bury most of the truth uh, in the ground. He does not uh, like the truth. And if a person a kafar, if a person a denier then it means Allah will not guide him also. So in the ayah, in the end of the ayah, there is an important rule of Allah and the rule uh, contains uh, two criteria, uh, two features about uh, the mankind. If a man is a liar, Allah will not guide him. If a man is a uh, uh, kafir, uh, a denier, uh, uh, then it means Allah will not guide him also. And it is very understandable rule about Allah, isn't it? Allah, we, when we read the ayah, we can say this, this is very understandable rule. It is, uh, it is very good that Allah does not li uh, uh, guide the liar. Because the liar when he lies, he wants to be free from the truth. He, uh, uh, prefer, he prefer uh, the lie over the truth. So he do not want the truth. And Allah does not guide him. And the kafir, it's more clear in his uh, example. He noticed the truth and trying to bury it. He do not want and if a, a man does not want the truth, Allah do, uh, does not give him. It is very simple. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وخطأنا. ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا. ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به. واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا. أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته